What's up guys, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. I'll bring you guys part two of the mini scheme today. It's tight doubles out of Steelers playbook. Very, very, very good formation. Also, another great player that's been running tight doubles for years, Henny Chulo. He follows the YouTube, he helped me out. He actually gave me some of these setups. Some of these setups are from him. Uh, so show him some love, I'll put his Twitter in the, in the description below. But if you guys missed part one, I'm gonna put it in the card above me to the top right. But make sure you guys check that out. And please, I'm begging you guys. You guys have been killing it. You guys have been awesome. We're getting a crazy view to like ratio. Please continue to hit that like button for me. I really appreciate you guys. And if you could, if we could get 200 likes, we'll drop the next piece to this mini scheme. But it's really, really, really good. I'm going to give you guys two plays today since you guys have been so cool for me. And also, we're going to um, we're gonna be cutting a little bit today. So I wanted to mention to you guys... I'm getting, we're getting our bathroom redone in our house, so people are doing sawing and hammering and tons of stuff. So if I do happen to cut in the middle of the video at like a weird time, don't judge me, alright? Just show me some love. I love you guys. Let's jump into this video. Okay, guys. So we're going to be bringing two plays today. We're going to be using bench, which beats every single coverage except for one. And it's, it gets over cloud flash really, 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 really easily. And the other play is going to be Flood Drive, which is another Flood concept that's really, really good as well. I'm going to show you guys how to use both of them. So just I'm going to do two plays today instead of one. Give you guys a little two-for-one special, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, but all jokes aside, so you can run this uh, against Cloud Flats from either the short or the uh, long hash. I'm going to show you guys both. So I'm just going to baseline here for cover two. We're on the... Uh, we're on the long hash right now, so you want this corner route to be on the long hash. It works best from the long hash. Here's the first setup for it. Um, I'm just going to do a motion slant, so it's not as crowded in the middle. But the corner route's the main read. It's going to get over everything, so I'm just going to show you guys that. Really neat. Real, really easy. You see how quick it gets over the cloth. I'm going to go to the replay to show you guys that. So it's very, very good, and it's really, really fast. So... This cloud flat right here, you see how quickly it gets over it. That's, I barely had to even move. Um, really clean pocket, pocket. And obviously you can hit the drag too if you have any type of pressure on you. Um, so I'll show you it one more time to show you it's really, really easy. Um, but the fact of the matter is that's the best route in this, in this play. And you're gonna be utilizing that on every different setup that you have. Um, so right there, nice and easy. And you fit it over the top so obviously it works from the long hash now I'm gonna show you guys from the short hash it does get over but it's a little bit tighter so if they have really good zone there you might have a little bit of a problem plus it gives you less space to throw the drag in this slant just because you're on the shorter hash so you'd rather run it from the long hash but if you wanted to keep consistent with like if you were if you're spamming a play from like the previous one on cross wheels where you wanted to run it from the short hash and you wanted to keep it on the short hash so that you don't give away a tell, it'll still work. So that's just something you can think about, but just know it's better on the long hash. So you can see a little bit tighter. <laughs> yeah, I swear every video's got something, no, no joke. Um, but it's just a little bit tighter of a window. As you can see, the cloud comes down a little bit later and you'll have a little bit of a pocket uh, around the sideline. I'll show you that it works just because he dropped it right there, but every video guys no joke it's every video <laughs> drop a like just in case you've ever seen that animation in practice in practice mode or heck even the real game but see still works just a little bit tighter of a pocket i like it from the long hash to each their own now obviously i'll show you guys the, the other reads on it real quick they're playing clouds as you can see and you're not and say you're getting gassed or something take your drag free five whatever Plain and simple. Now, uh, the slant works too. So I'll show you that. I think I accidentally dragged him right there. That was my bad. I messed up the timing. But as you can see, the, the drag gets over too. Now, if they shade down, play hard flats, it's even easier to throw your corner out. So I'll show that now. See, it's wide, wide open pocket over there. So, you guys can see, I'm not gonna like make this video longer than it needs to be. You guys get it, the corner rod's awesome. Now, something else you could do from this, if you say you're getting gas, right? You want a max pro. You could put playmaker on hill, if you're in mutt, 
Very, very good playmaker. Put him on his in route, playmaker him straight up the field. Now, since we don't have playmaker, I'm not gonna do that, but this still works. You can not motion him or you can motion him, up to you. But it's still, your corner route still works. Bam, see? Dude, yo, oh my gosh. Yo, like, seriously, this game is just funny. It's just funny. There's there's no other way to put it. There's funny things just happen all the time. I do this guy just to mess around with my running back blocking here. There you go. No problem. Still works. You have a playmaker on B if you want it. And you just have the ability to max, bro. So, sorry. So, here's what we have so far. We have this. With a motion. Or... We have this with a motion, but don't let them set like that. Just for the setup purposes. Now, the only way I'm gonna show you guys the only way to guard this, so I'm gonna put a deep third out here and this is not gonna guard it. Outside third, inside third. Just I guess we'll just hard flat this guy. Doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys now that the corner route's still gonna get open against deep thirds. See, still gets wide open. This is the, now the only way to guard this is with a deep quarter. Now I'm gonna show you guys from the short hash too that it works against the deep third really quick. Pretty sure it actually works against deep quarters too from the short hash. It's just a weird throw sometimes. Okay, so have the deep third out there. It's gonna follow the streak, and you're gonna have a wide open corner out. Now, I think it beats deep quarters on the short hash. I think. Which I'm going to show you guys that now. But we're going to see. Because this is one thing I, I meant to test this, but I forgot. So we're going to test it together. I mean, I know you guys enjoy that. We'll learn together. You guys can laugh at me when it doesn't work. <laughs> but, like I thought, it works from the short hash against the deep quarters. Perfect. Now, when you go back here on the wide hash, this is the only way to guard it. Baseline press deep quarter. It's the only way to guard it in the wide hash. Okay, you guys are gonna see it's gonna get underneath this this corner out this time. I didn't do the motion, but it doesn't matter. And it squats underneath it. Now I can maybe throw it late, but it makes it a lot tougher throw because he squats underneath it. And I'll show you guys that on the replay. And the second play of this video is how we're gonna kind of counter this in a way. So you can see squatting, squatting, squatting. He doesn't get carried by the streak until late. So that's why you can't throw it, can't throw it, can't throw it, can't throw it, can't throw it. I can throw it here. It's about where I can throw it, and it makes it tough, especially with the click on. Now, so you guys get it. This corner out beats everything pretty much, right? So now we're going to jump into flood drive. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I cut. I jump, I'm jumping into flood drive. So flood drive is a shorter work, uh, corner route. So it's going to work a little bit different. You're going to do a little bit of a different route combo, but it's still going to work really, really, really well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to in route hill. I'm going to block the running back. I'm going to zig Conley, and I'm just going to motion hill out to the right. Just like before, keeping the same exact look. Now, since it's a shorter corner route, it's not going to get over the cloud, but it's going to allow you to do really, really quick, easy route combos. So... If they play cloud, you throw your zig. Now it's gonna work from either the wide or the short hash. I'm gonna show you guys both hashes. I prefer it from the short hash, but if you want to keep the same look, you can throw you can throw it against the you can throw it against the the wide hash as well. So show you guys the zig one more time. Just show you guys it's free five to six yards if they if they play cloud flats. Really, really, really good. Then I'm gonna show you guys against hard flats how quick and easy that corner route is. As you can see, easy reads. Easy reads. Now I'm going to shade down. Same thing here. Motion over. Corner out gets open. Right? Plain and simple. They play hard flat, you throw the corner out. You play If they play cloud flat, you throw the zig. Easy. Now the only way to cover it would be a Mabel, would be a hard flat and a cloud flat. But no reason to show that here. Because if they're... Because the reason why we want to do this is for the deep quarter. Now I'm going to show you guys these other reads. Uh, if they shade down, a lot of the time you can highball the tight end depending on who their user is. So, like right there, you guys can see I got hit right there. 
but I'm almost imagining myself. So say this is the user, right? And they have to guard something in the flat. So I'm just going to man him up to the zig. Imagining now, okay, now the zig and the corner route are both taken away, right? So shade down here. And you can hive all this, and it's relatively safe read. You're not going to throw a pick on it. So, like, are you serious with that shit? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. They want to make me work today. I respect that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys this highball, hopefully. Highball. Nice, safe, easy read right over the middle. So that's something you can throw. Obviously, you have the backside in. I'm not going to show you guys that again. It's the same thing as before uh, from the bench concept. I'm not going to make you guys watch longer than you have to. So now, the deep quarter. Especially on the short hash is where I like this. It's impressive. From the wide hash, it's a little bit scarier. I'm not going to lie to you, which is why I like this play on the short hash. But you can still usually fit it in right there a little bit scarier a little bit scarier but it still fits in the pocket so you guys get that this that's to counter the deep quarter so if they're deep quartering you because you, you're running bench every play right and they and you want they want to stop it you go to that corner route play and it, it'll lock it up for you sorry guys I had to cut again the bathroom people in the background they're killing me a little bit but we're fighting through it so where I left off was short hash deep quarters and if they're if you're using deep quarters to counter your bench, you go to this play, then you're able to beat and get underneath their deep quarters. So showed you guys the wide hash already. Now I'm showing you guys the short hash. Pass it towards that sideline, and trust it. Gotta trust it. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna throw it a couple times for you guys. Show you guys it works. Deep quarters. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. Okay. Gotta trust it. One more time. And that's pretty much it for the video, man. I, uh, I don't got anything else for you. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy, though. I hope I hope this, these are, uh, this is a fun mini scheme for you. It's near the end of the year. You want to try something new. I hope, hope you guys are able to add this to your game. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. But if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Just for the bathroom people, give me some love. I love y'all. Take it easy. Peace.